Whoa. <gasps> that was our next guest, Heather Friesen, who slipped and fell right over the edge of a 50-foot waterfall in Hawaii, captured the whole incident on one of those GoPro cameras, Heather is standing by to join us. Uh, I, my mouth was <laughs> wide open as you're in Los Angeles. Thank you, Heather. Okay, the first thing I saw, you slip. There's nothing to grab onto. That is a true free fall. What is that sensation? Is it like a roller coaster? Do you black out? Do you even remember that? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I remember everything. I remember everything that I was thinking. Um, I... Speaking of roller coasters, when I go on one now, I kind of get a panic attack, so I have to avoid them. But <sighs> as I was falling, it was like time slowed down to a standstill. And all of these thoughts were racing through my head. It felt like I was falling for so long. I started thinking about my family, who was so far away that I was going to be worried about me. Um, I was playing beach volleyball for University of Hawaii at the time. So I knew I was going to get injured. Yeah. And thought it was going to ruin the season for my teammates. So I was really upset about that. And then the last <sighs> thing that I thought was, okay, Heather, you need to land on your left side because you're right-handed and you don't want to mess up your hitting oh shoulder. <laughs> Heather, you are a hero. So real quick, I was on vacation once. My parasol broke and I fell into the ocean. I don't remember any of it. I blacked out. The only thing I remember was looking at the guy I was engaged to at the time, thinking, I won't marry you, because he did not jump in to save me. So, <laughs> oh, and no. I did not marry him. But, <laughs> but I'm wondering, like, with you, you ended up submerged for 20 seconds. I just learned to swim. Like, the, the idea of drowning for a lot of people is just pure fear. You don't even know if you're, your injuries at the time. So I could hear you mm -hmm. moaning in that video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the worst part when I watch the video Ooh. is, yeah, listening to that is the worst part. What were your injuries? I had 10 broken ribs, uh, my left lung collapsed, and I fractured my scapula, my shoulder blade, all on the left side. I have a couple scrapes to go along with it, too. Um, but it, I had surgery to get my ribs plated because my <sighs> ribs were so out of place, so I have about five plates and 60 screws still in there holding my ribs together. So uh, it could have been so much worse, though, so I'm really yeah. thankful for that. You were airlifted. A helicopter got in safely to get you out of there. Mm -hmm. And you said that this was the worst, but, but how, how do you reconcile it emotionally, this, this peaceful moment of your life finally being airlifted out of there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that helicopter ride, I was hanging from a rope from the helicopter, but... <laughs> to this day, most peaceful moment of my life. And I think that I just felt God's presence in a way that I never have before and was so calmed by that. And from that moment for the next few weeks, months, and years of my life up till now, I just kind of realized that I had God to thank for saving my life that day and that I just rearranged my priorities completely and started putting him first instead of myself and my sport. Wow. Do you, you know, do you consider yourself a person who like like still likes adventure? Would you go out and do something like that again? I mean, it was a typical thing that people do on vacation, go to the waterfall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've gone hiking a bunch of times uh, since this happened. Wow. Um, but when you go hiking, you just kind of feel like you're invincible and like nothing's going to hurt you. Yeah. And so I think that's a lesson to be learned for it everyone. Sure is. Is we have to be more careful, but you're yeah. incredible. Love hiking your, still. your perspective out of all of this is also just inspiring. Thank you, Heather. I, my heart is still racing here. You're amazing. Thank you. And best of <laughs> luck with so everything. Much.